Services, and today I'm here to talk to you guys about one of the new features from uh, Claris's new Claris Studio platform, the Kanban board. Uh, a little bit of background, Claris Studio is a new online platform where you are able to view and interact with your data and your FileMaker solutions, as well as perform organizational tasks with this Kanban board. So to start, we're going to go ahead and make a new board. From the Views menu over here, we are going to select Create New View. And from here, we'll select Kanban. And once it lets us in, you'll see that we have this nice empty board that has four categories for us. We have Not Categorized, To Do, In Progress, and Done. These are just your base organizational structures you would have in a Kanban board. Um, but we might need a bit more, so let's start with adding an additional column. So what you'll do is you will click this arrow drop-down on one of your columns and select either Add Column After or Add Column Before, depending on where you're adding. So let's go ahead and put one After Not Categorized and call it Approved Backlog. And so this would be, say, where your tasks go before you start doing them, but they've been approved by a client. Um, so how are we going to get these tasks on here? Uh, we are going to go down to this plus button here and select it, and this will give us a new record or card for our task. So we can put in basic information like a title, a subtitle. We are able to tag it based on various options. These are editable. Um, if you go over here, you can edit the field, change your text boxes and such. You can also change names and default options. And with these uh, fields we have here, if you see that it's missing something that you might need, you can select this Add New Field where you have a variety of options for what types of values you want to be able to enter. So let's add a new long text field and call it a uh, description. And here we can put in uh, whatever value we would need and just say test task. And so once we're done with this, we go ahead and click this X button and you'll see that we have our new task here and it is dropped in the column where we had selected our plus button. Uh, Naturally, if you need to go back and edit these tasks, you can go ahead and click on it again, and it will just load up the card for you to edit whatever information you may need. And if you were to right-click this task, there are expanded options. You can move it up, you can move it down, you can delete it, duplicate it. You're able to expand it, which, again, is just a way to open up that card. And so, now that we have our tasks, um, let's talk about moving them. Uh, this is super simple. It is just click and drag. Drag it to where it needs to go next uh, so it's been approved. You got to do it. It's progress and it's done. And so that's just the very basic gist of the Kanban board. Now we're going to go ahead and get into a little bit of some organizational structure here with our grouping, our filtering, and sorting. Let's go ahead and add a couple of more extra tasks here. So we can go ahead and view those as we go. Task 2. And DB test. Perfect. And so with this, we are able to go into our filter and add some conditions. So we can do it based on any of the fields we have on a card. So title contains that value, it doesn't have a value, it is exactly that value, and so on. So let's just do it contains db. And then we hit add condition. And it is now filtered down our tasks to just our db test. Uh, if we don't need that anymore, we can select clear all. If we need some additional filters, you can add as many as you need. So let's clear that one. Uh, next, we're going to go ahead and talk a little bit about sorting. Uh, sorting actually behaves fairly similarly, in which you can just sort based on a field, uh, ascending, descending, as well as adding some additional ones. So say you want to go 
ascending by title. We'll go ahead and add that. Now if we want to add a new rule where we do our description as well in descending, it will go ahead and do that as well. So if we were to rename this one to also be task1 and change that description, you will see that it's got our descriptions descending. We switch it to ascending, and we now have those flipped. Um, if you need to view just certain columns of information and you're distracted by, say, you don't need to see your done column, you just need to see your backlog to do an in-progress, you are able to hide those columns just with these little sliders here. And it will be able to have you focus a bit more on just the area you need. Um, that's about all we have with the Kanban board. Um, it's a fairly straightforward and useful tool for organizational uh, tasks for your projects. Uh, if you guys have any questions regarding the, uh, regarding the Kanban board or anything related to it or Claire Studio, feel free to reach out to us at DB Services. This has been Dylan, and thank you guys for watching.